whatever. You okay, so here's your new capping station. It comes up so nicely. Uh, this uh, gray wire happens to be a little bit larger than most. So I like to just stick this through first. And uh, when we're finished, we'll tie it up with a zip tie. Uh, you can get this capping station from garmentprinterinc.com. Make sure this capping station is a peg here. This it goes into a little hole. You can't really see it on this side, but on this side, on this side there's a hole. Keep going on that side, and this is where that's going to go into that little peg. So we're going to slide it in here, the capping station. It should go in pretty smoothly. Pretty easy on the anajets. There's an orange wire here that has to go back in as well, the one we pulled out, so make sure that goes in. And okay, so that peg is now inside of that little hole right here. There's a peg inside that hole. This thing really just doesn't do anything. Okay, so first things first. Let's get this piece back on. Yes. Okay, so the capping station is not gonna move now. So this goes in here. There's two pegs here, two holes. Just gonna put that on there. That goes in, goes on the two holes. <laughs> okay, this screw is just gonna go right in here. I recommend changing your capping station every three to six months, depending on how you print. Okay, that one is in. We have to get that really long one in. That's the one over here, way back there. You can see it on this side going in as well. You can feel it when it's tight. Don't make anything super tight. Right there it is, okay. Okay, this screw with the red mark on it, there's a hole down here. It's just gonna go, sometimes it's a little difficult to get in. You see? Okay. So that's really gonna get your capping station nice and tight on there. Don't tighten too much. Okay, the next screw is behind this board in this hole back here. It's very difficult to see, but that's where you're gonna put the next screw. And it helps to have a magnetic screwdriver. It makes life a little bit easier. There we go, nice and tight. Okay, the next screw is gonna be attached to this orange ground. It's gonna go right here where we took it off originally. Sometimes it gets, these screws are just difficult to go, to get in. I got a stubby magnetic screwdriver. That usually works the best. Okay, that's nice and tight. And this is our very long plug. We're gonna make it shorter in four seconds. Okay, so the pins are on top and there's holes in here. So you wanna make sure the holes are on top. It's gonna go right in here. Okay, that's in. Here's that extended gray wire. So I just like to fold it up and make it look neat in here. And I just take a twist tie. Tie it up. Give it a little snip. And now it just sits in here. Nice so we're just putting these things back on these clamps. 
Uh, it doesn't matter what hose in the waste ink tank you use. It's waste ink. So they just go on. It's hard to see here, guys. Uh, very easily. You snap on. You take the clamp. And you just put it down right there. Same with here. Put this one on. It's very easy. You take the clamp. You put it down here. We got to replace these two screws. The original ones we took out here. So this should be able to fit in here nicely. Okay, kind of snaps into place. There's pegs. There's one here. There's one on the other side. Okay, so let's just make sure that this is lined up correctly. There we go. That needs to be flush on there. And this screw is just going to go in nice and easy, easily in here. Okay, not too tight. You don't want to strip it. And this screw. So go in here. Some of these screws are different sizes, different widths, and if you try to force the screw into here, you're going to strip it. So most of these screws with the, the lock washers are for the outside of the jet. Okay, let's get the bay back on. Okay, so uh, I just cleaned this up because there was some excess ink here. I guess it was from this tapping station. This is, okay. This is the bay. This we have to situate in here. Let's take the, the front of the bay off. Just gently let it sit. You don't want to break this ribbon here. Okay. Now, there's two, there's two um, uh, metal pieces over here on the bottom. If you scroll down, they have to go behind, behind those metal pieces. And sometimes they're easy to get over, and sometimes they're a little more difficult. There we go. So that's behind there, and that's now behind there. Basically, okay, so we're sometimes you can hang this thing on here. Maybe just let it hang out. Okay, so we have to make sure that the bay is on this side of this metal piece, otherwise you can have the problem when the cap when the carriage moves back and forth, and sometimes it kind of situates itself. So we're gonna get this screw in here. And see, we're not lined up. Now we're lined up. So just put these in loosely. I wouldn't tighten them all the way yet until we get them all in. Okay, so now we're gonna line up the back of the bay through this hole here. And Just put that in lightly as well. We'll tighten everything when we're finished. Okay, so now we have uh, a couple of screws underneath here. So way down here. One screw that goes in here. These two plugs here, let's get them back in. Be very careful. You want to bend these two metal prongs here. They slide real easily back in there. And the blue and the red plug, that goes in as well. Okay, that's that. Turn this here. Uh, we have to put base goes back. We have this little screw here to deal with first. The one that is difficult to get in. Stone screwdriver. 
So. This one's a okay. Start by hand. tight so otherwise you won't be able to spin it. This goes back over here. Where we're just gonna put together the rest of the machine like it's gonna part. to the left and it's on and we have to fix put this screw in and these two screws in ground wires. The screw has to go in one and through the other and it all gets comes together right here. Okay. Can I fight? We just put everything down in this small hole. And then we just put the last two screws back in underneath how we took it out. And then we're all set. Okay. 